Okay, and then we start on the dot. My timer is starting to run. Um, my name is Karl Rabe. I'll uh, run a small company called Wooden Data Center and also the um, MDC uh, co-lead for uh, modular data centers within OCP inside the data center facilities. Today I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, design files, um, our new, my new co-lead and, <coughs> and the uh, and some also data center facilities. Um, unfortunately, Daniel couldn't uh, be here. He, he tried to, um, to to come over, but uh, he we, we asked him to join after Brandon Greece and they needed to depart due to the absence of support from his former company. And um, Daniel works with, for RecWorks, is a modular data center company that has deployed new, yeah, quite a lot of facilities all over the world um, and he's been very active regular partner to support the group you know with inputs and work and um, I'm happy to have again another mass producer of modular data centers on the on, on, on the team and um, we have quite a lot of uh, inputs we we were working towards this year um, just if you have ever seen, came across the RecWorks uh, model, they build relatively uh, efficient solutions that can be deployed quickly. Um, this is how they look. You might have seen them all over the place at some point, just to get them ready. And they were the only ones bringing not one, but two module data centers to the last San Jose summit. Um, the drivers more or less remain for our industry. We see uh, an ever also increasing uh, demand on the AI and high performance uh, workloads. So what we've seen on the power supply, uh, 80 kilowatt uh, uh, power shelves, 60 kilowatt power shelves, an ever increasing demand for power. And um, there is obviously very often you cannot enable existing facilities. That's why people tend to put new architectures into modular data centers. That's continued to, to be uh, important. The 5G rollout is in full swing. Um, lots and lots of facilities are, are being deployed um, and other new drivers are, uh, so to speak, on the horizon with um, enterprise workloads, um, edge deployments of AI. So we have, uh, we have started to separate our specifications into air and liquid cooled specification. In San Jose, we um, showed a new type of um, data center, which was also liquid cooled for a hybrid cooling rack. The rack, who was, who, which was the basis of that uh, modular data center, we brought to uh, the show here. It's a, a wooden rack, you cannot miss it. Uh, we also built wooden racks, not only wooden data centers. Um, but we have started now to put in design files for this, similar to servers. Um, the innovation really can happen if you are able to look at a system, modify it, and that's what we're trying to do also in the data center facility uh, group. Um, you know, this one is the, the basis for a lot of deployments, uh, really, you know, standard design. This one we're gonna up include or upgrade to higher loads, enable to higher loads, and also enable to a little bit different of cooling technologies. The 300 kilowatt um, design is uh, by a Swedish company who's not active in the module data center space anymore, but it shows the capability of the OCP rack within a small form factor. And it's really interesting to look at because it's actually uh, in the range of 300 to one megawatt, it can be enabled to have quite high loads. On the basis of the 90 kilowatt specification, um, we designed a first liquid cooling modular data center, which had an interesting um, mechanism to push out, um, uh, which is called a loop heat pipe, which is pushing out basically its heat on its own, under its own you know, thermal power. Uh, we were able to increase the uh, the load quite significantly, but a year after, it, this seems 
like a low number in the meantime what people are discussing. So, and we highlight some other interesting technologies. For example, the, the cooling technology here is a ultra efficient adiabatic cooler. The people to talk to are in this room if you have questions about that. Um, this, is, this is what we um, now need to rework into um, an, a new specification. We significantly increased the, uh, again, the amount of <laughs> power per rack with an AI workload. Um, and the, there is definitely potential to go, you know, three digits with this type of um, cooling. Uh, we built this together with John Fernandez from the rear door heat exchanger group. And we now bring for that rack the rear door into the as a specification and into the marketplace. And we also um, will put this specification forward to the uh, OCP. We do have... Um, some other activities that go a little bit beyond my <laughs> shepherd ship or leadership, but we are part of the DCF group and the, oh, I made a typo there. So there's only one hyperscale specification inside that group and it's from 2011 from, um, from Facebook. In the meantime, two years ago, we presented a concept for a superconductive data center, a data center running completely on DC, which we hadn't put forward as a, we built the specification, but it was not published to uh, the OCP. Um, we are now, and Wooden Data Center is now an OCP startup, which allows me to take on higher leadership roles, but also gives us the ability to publish specification under our own name. So we're gonna follow up with that. Um, the picture, that's why it's in bold, is uh, the AI heat facility we created with uh, Frigil, which is based, uh, the building may be, sounds familiar because it is uh, based on the Yahoo facility concept, which was quite uh, revolutionary at the time. So another hyperscale concept which we could build on and showed how to integrate high density AI and HPC workloads with minimal water consumption um, and also showing how data centers need to have a different narrative being able to reuse heat up to 90 degrees and being able to provide flexible loads to the grid operator. Um, and the most interesting concept uh, I think right now is the eco cavern concept which also will be a, a, a specification people I, th I think I spotted already in this room uh, to talk to, and they will present on that uh, underground uh, data center later, this, uh, later today. Um, so check out, uh, out that. That is a really interesting solution to create space for large facilities where the heat can be reused, and uh, the business model behind it is really interesting. So for uh, our new um, co-leader combination of Daniel and me, we, are, we have started to build um, a so-called base spec, which is the new form of specification building in the OCP. You start with something of base and then you can go into a design or product file. So we want to enable, you know, a modular data center is uh, a cube in some form, form of shape, and it's always a cube, it's usually a cube. we just seen that people are starting to 3D print uh, modular data centers, so it can be a cube with a nice facade, but it's kind of is a cube at all times. Um, so we, we want people to use the modular data center to highlight their products, whether it's you know a light, a fire security system, a rack, uh, a UPS, some form of technology. We're trying to take them, uh, take this, give them the spec and the design files, put their solution in, highlight you know, the benefits, and then be able to 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 show solutions. You know, because a UPS sitting here is rather useless on its own. You know, you have to build a, a solution. We uh, have um, a pseudocore white paper published. Uh, which I think it's just following me. Shaha is presenting on on that uh, on that white paper. Um, we want to build this out into a spec. 
we have a very interesting module uh, solution coming up as a specification, which was postponed because the company was reorganizing the legal structure. We want to go from 90 to 250 kilowatt as a, as a specification. Um, and we want to build a smaller facility edge spec uh, first as a white paper and then to a specification. Um, and with that, I'm happy to invite you to our monthly calls um, and to, to check out the specification of the design files, which will be published, I think, within April on the contribution database. Download it. We're happy to show you how to modify it uh, if there are any questions. Um, and if you yeah, want to reach out on anything, sustainability, modular data center, feel free to, to reach out to me or to Daniel. Uh, Thanks so much, and um, I'm open to, to questions. Yes, sir? We, we designed it for, for uh, 400 volts, um, but we, uh, in the meantime, they found a way to go down to 48 volts. So you can power, power 100 megawatts plus on 48 volts from the bus bar, basically, to the, uh, to the batteries. The whole system can be, you know, uh, really low voltage, but very high amps. Great. Then we'll take the time to let uh, Shaha set up.